Do you have a heart of stone? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. An Arab chief tells a story of a spy who was captured and then sentenced to death by a general in the Persian army. This general had the strange custom of giving condemned criminals a choice between the firing squad and the big black door. As the moment for execution drew near, the spy was brought to the Persian general who asked the question, what will it be, the firing squad or the big black door? The spy hesitated for a long time. It was a difficult decision. He chose the firing squad. Moments later, shots rang out, confirming his execution. The general turned to his aide and said, They always prefer the known way to the unknown. It is characteristic of people to be afraid of the undefined. Yet we gave him a choice. The aide said, What lies beyond the big door? Freedom, replied the general. I've known only a few brave enough to take it. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus warns three towns that have been beneficiaries of his teachings and miracles, Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. Despite all he did, they did not convert. Had he brought all these to non-Israelite towns like Tyre and Sidon, they would have converted. Even Sodom, the most immoral of them, would have capitulated and been transformed. They deserve God's punishment because they have forgotten what he taught them. They heard, but they did not listen. Jesus' miracles had no effect on them, for they did not become witnesses of God's goodness to them. Perhaps you may be wondering, where did I see in the Bible these cities in the time of Jesus? They may have been mentioned, but the wonders Jesus worked in them were probably not or just scantily revealed. Bethsaida was a fishing village on the northern end of the lake in the west bank of Jordan. Chorazin was an hour's walking distance from Capernaum. They disregarded and were ungrateful for what Jesus did for them. We reflect today on how we have received the Word of God. Have we received with openness and become transformed? Have we believed? Or have we remained indifferent to the teachings of Jesus, casting them aside when uncomfortable or not suited to our own situation? We may have been schooled or taught or at least become aware of Jesus' teachings. They should have formed in us a strong conscience and moral uprightness that will help us go through life with more confidence, determination, and resolve. But many of us choose the easier path, the path of pleasure and comfort, the road constantly traveled that may lead us to sin. We may have been dazzled by the sparkling gems Jehenna tempted us with. We have become obsessed with money and the love of it has kept us compromising and rationalizing when moral decisions have to be made. Our hearts may have become hardened by our indulgence to sin. Our hearts have become prison cells, hard to penetrate. Repentance for our sins has not really happened. Perhaps that is why loving our neighbor is hard to do. We have not truly repented for our sins, humbled ourselves, and prayed earnestly for forgiveness. That is why we continue to harbor bitterness and resentment against those who have hurt us. We have not learned to forgive because we have not truly asked for sincere forgiveness from our Lord. Indeed, the commandment of love Jesus demands of us is only doable and possible when repentance for our own sins has happened. The door to faith can only be opened when grace is allowed to enter into our hearts. Let us ask our Lord today for His grace to melt our hard hearts and allow Jesus to enter our lives so that we may be fully and truly transformed. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, may I not be so proud and so foolish to refuse your call for me to be transformed and to be holy. Let your grace flow into me so that I may truly be your witness to the world. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.